Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you about transcripts and calculations of GPA. So people always come to us and ask us for a transcript and then wonder uh, what the A's and the B's and so forth. I'm going to show you a couple things on that. But first of all, we can see here that no A's or B's are listed on, on any of this. I'll show you a sort of calculation of that later. But uh, the important thing on here is to notice that this is somebody who's going into or is in 12th grade. We don't show current courses on any transcripts. We only show them if they're completed. And GPAs are all calculated at the end of the school year when you've completed all your classes. So the important thing here too is if you have not passed a class, the mark will be a, a 50, uh, in between a 59 and a 50. And then your credit here will be zero. And the weight in this case would be uh, just the number of credits that you have in this in this. Uh, in this that you can get in this class. Okay, so here is your academic plan you can get here on your Phil SD account, and we showed you how to get your Phil SD account in a different video. You can see that there's some plus buttons here that change to a minus button once you open it up. So you can see this, the classes that the person takes or that you've taken and the score that you have. This is really important screen to know uh, because you have the ability to check out the classes that you have in the past. People ask us for scholarship information or for applications, and we just guide you toward this screen. Here's the really uh, thing that people come to us all the time and they say, look, I'm all green. I've got 26 credits already. I'm, I, I should be graduated. No, this is green because the, the number of classes that you are, have taken already or earned already, plus in progress, plus the um, planned courses is equal to this amount. So the earned credits has to be the number of credits that you have. Now, if I show you some calculations here, you can see that the GPA matches what we had on, the, on that transcript. And we have, if we look here, uh, the sort of uh, amount that each number grade is worth. So you can see that if you have a 96 to a 93, you get a 4.0. And if you have, and if you drop down to a 92 to a 90, that's that's a 3.7. Uh, you get zero credits if you if you pass if you don't pass the class. Here is the calculation for your uh, for the for your GPA. You take the course GPA times the number of credits that it's worth. So for advisory, for example, it'd be 0.25 or health 0.5. Everything else really is pretty much one. And then course weight is how difficult that class is. And I'll show you that over here. Unweighted GPA doesn't take the course weight into account. And you divide that by the sum of the attempted credits. So if we take a look at this, uh, we have all of their classes. Here's the credit amount. Uh, and then you have a weighting. So IB and AP classes have a weighting of a 1.2. Honors classes have a weighting of a 1.15. And regular classes have a weighting of one. And then, so you have a sort of multiplying fa factor going on here. And you have advisory. So you can see here 100 times 0.15, I'm sorry, 0.25. Uh, you're gonna have an unweighted, um, uh, GPA point of one because uh, it's it's a quarter of, of what it would be worth for the other classes. Now really quick, there's uh, questions people always ask, is it better to take harder classes or is it better, better to do better in easier classes? So let's take um, IB Lang and we'll take a look at the weighted GPA here. So this person had an 88. I'm going to change this grade to a 70, let's say. And you can see that their grade dropped to a 3.93. Um, now let's see what happens if we take that multiplier and we just make it a 1. And now it's a 3.92. And if we jump it up to a 90, or sorry, an 88 again, now it's a 4.0. And then we put back up to a point 1.2 and a 4.03. So you can do the calculations, but generally schools want to see you have better, harder classes um, and get all A's. So if you have any questions about any of that, absolutely get in touch with